Hi, I'm gonna make a quick video to show you how to remove the the color bleeding. That color color bleeding that happens um, depend of the bouncing lights, and we really calculate all those bouncing lights using the GI. So the idea is to uh, make a tweak to use a different GI solution. So I'm gonna make a render just to see what we have in terms of color bleeding. And after the render, I'm going to save the file. I'm going to pause the video right now. Notice that uh, we have a lot of reddish color in the floor. The reason is because we have uh, red walls, and those um, red walls are producing the, the red bleeding. And again, those red bleeding is to the, the GI. So if you look at the GI channel, uh, we have a bunch of reddish color. Okay, the idea here is to either change the color of the wall or use another white material to basically make a new render with a neutral color. In this case, maybe um, light gray and save the GI solution and use that GI solution to render the final image. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my history and I'm going to save that file there so we are going to compare that bleeding image with the next one so now we have to uh, make some changes in order to be able to save the GI solution because I'm just going to save the GI solution with a with a neutral color I'm not going to I don't want to render the final image so I'm going to enable don't render the final image. So what Bitray is going to do is going to stop after the GI calculation. And also I want to be able to override that color or the whole interior with a, a light gray color, in this case 230. And the idea is again is just to be able to, to save the GI solution for an neutral white color without the, the red wall. And for now, that's it. I'm going to make another render. And after the render done, I'm going to save the light cache and the Iridium Maps solution and reuse those for the final render with the actual red colors on the walls. So when the render done, you can see it's really quick because I don't have to go to the final render. It just stop after the GI calculation. I'm going to go to the GI um, Iridium Maps solution and I'm going to click save and I will save that solution on my desktop. I'm going to put a Iridium Maps, right? And I'm going to change my mode to from file and of course I'm going to actually find the actual cache uh, GI that we saved. Um, I have to do the same thing on the light cache. So I'm going to click save. Notice that we have an information of how many sample and the uh, size for the light cache uh, pass. So I'm going to save the pass or the light cache solution. In this case, I'm going to just put LC, but you could put any name that you want. Change the mode to from file. And of course, just locate that file. Right? Now the idea is to use those files or those GI to make the final render. So I have to go back to the global switches and disable the don't render final image and disable the override. Okay, so I'm going to click render and notice that V-Ray doesn't have to calculate the GI. We are going to be able to render just a final pass because the GI already, uh, we already calculated GI. So we don't have to go to those GI pass or the pre-passes or anything like that. We just go directly to the final render. And notice how fast is the render now. And if you pay attention to the uh, areas that we had light leaking before, I'm sorry, not light leaking, like color bleeding before, we don't have those color bleeding. And the reason is because again, we, are, we were using, or we are using a GI solution that we pre-save using neutral colors. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video until the final render done and then we are going to compare those two results. 
Okay, while still rendering, I'm going to actually click on my app history. Um, hit on the on the B uh, icon, so I could compare both. Notice that this is the first render that we did with the color bleeding, and now this is the second render that we did with without color bleeding. Okay, in this example, I just override the whole thing using the override color because it was a simple room. But if you have complex geometry where you have different tone of materials and all the other materials are affecting the illumination too, and you don't want to override everything. You can just change the color temporary. You can just change the material for the uh, object that are producing the that is producing the color bleeding, and then you can just save the GI solution with the new material, which is should be again just a neutral white color or light gray color. And after you save the GI solution for the final render, then you can apply the correct material again. But anyway, you can see how we don't have now all the different um, color bleeding that uh, we have in the previous, previous file.